Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the SP 500. And this has been an absolutely amazing day for the market. So, uh, inflation fears that looks like that is uh, baked into the market, and uh, people may talk about as much about inflation as they want to as they it did about the coronavirus and at some point it will basically be the market will adapt to those um, to those um, um to those to the negative news and and then will basically become immune to it and it kind of looks like it has brushed off that inflation fears so we are above the middle of the bullish band we're trading at 4227 technical indicators are still fairly bearish uh, after these massive sell-offs here uh, but they are turning around and becoming bullish at this point it looks like 4400 is going to be the target if we were to uh, pull back from here uh, then then we have a 4150 give or take 50 moving average and the 20 exponential that have all offered support break below here then we we're looking at the move towards the 4000 but this is a very encouraging candlestick indeed so let's look at the dow jones yes dow jones has also rallied significantly um there is was um there is probably going to be a continuation of this rally up towards the 50 moving average the question is whether or not we manage to break above the uh, the 50 moving average at uh, 34,200 give or take technical needles are still bearish but they are turning around stochastic is very bullish and so is rsi while the other ones are slowly turning around so this has was in a massive sell-off you can you saw it in the four hour chart for example it was significantly oversold. I think we were down at 17, around 16, 17, when we were at the bottom here. And it's really difficult for the RSI to get a lower than that, especially for these indices. So these rallies were always going to happen. Question is whether or not we, when we get up towards the 50 moving average around 34,000, that we basically roll over here and head back towards roughly 43 to and a half and then go back. So Fibonacci retracements for this are roughly here. You can see that we get towards the 50 and 61 around this area here. And usually it goes like that and then continues higher. It's a V-shaped recovery usually does not um, happen in, this, in, this, in these moves. There will be a pullback and the question is whether or not that pullback will be around the 50 moving average here in the four hour chart. So if we look at this, then uh, if we were to break below these previous lows here, then we are looking at uh, 32,000 and probably 200 moving average. But uh, this is a very nice move today and uh, very encouraging as it also took out the, the highs of Friday's session. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So Nasdaq has also rallied, trading at 14,143, uh, 14, and it's getting very close to the top of the bullish band. So uh, we could rally, continue rally, but uh, we'll probably run into resistance. I was expecting this to fall towards the middle of the bullish band for going higher, and that would be a much better entry. But still, we're in a really nice upward channel here, and the moves towards the middle of the bullish band will most likely be highly bought into if you look at technical indicators they were all very bullish at this point getting up close to the top of the bullish band and also getting close to or bought conditions so yes uh, pullbacks is basically uh, where people will mostly buy in at the 20 and especially at the 50 moving average target here will most likely be 15,000 in the in the long run so let's look at the german dax so German DAX fell below the 50 moving average and then absolutely crushed it today. We are about more than half a, uh, more than 1% above the middle of the bullish band. And it looks like we're going to test the uh, very highs here of roughly 16,000. Technical indicators are still very bearish at this point, but this move here is very encouraging. And if you get another green candlestick above the middle of the bullish band tomorrow then 16,000 will mostly be target break below here then 15,000 and then 
we'll see much lower levels. But we're still in uptrends and uh, pullbacks like these. You can see it here, 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 also here have all been uh, bought into. So let's look at UK 100. So UK 100, also a very uh, impressive move today. Uh, we are just struggling here at the 20 exponential, but we are ending at the top of the range, which is a fairly um, bullish signal. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. So if we were to um, break down from here, then we need to basically take out these previous lows in order to go to 6,750. Otherwise, uh, break above this, then we're targeting the top of the range of roughly uh, 7,200. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 has a struggle at the 200 moving average, but um, it looks very similar to what happened here and also what happened there. We did break below the 200 moving average and then uh, stabilized and that stabilization was kind of the indication that this was going to go go higher technical indicators are also they are fairly bearish at this point but they are turning around so if we manage to stabilize here then it's a fairly good chance that we'll go head back towards 19,000. so hope you found something you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much